We have sailed hundreds of nautical miles and flown and journeyed over thousands of kilometers to contemplate the face of a majestic 30,000 year old Tidewater Glacier. A singular and unforgettable experience. An over 15 kilometer long river of ice that slowly flows into the sea. And although this process has been going on for millennia, each day is unique. This is San Rafael Glacier, a part of Patagonia's Campo de Hielo Norte, or Northern Ice Field, and the farthest point south on the voyage made by the MV Scorpios II. Scorpios Cruises, the glaciers of Patagonia, invites you to sail its Chono route to Patagonia's Campo de Hielo Norte ice field. Come share with us this spectacular adventure. Enjoy five nights navigating through northern Patagonia's captivating Chiloé and Chonos archipelagos and breathtaking San Rafael Lagoon National Park, a UNESCO World Biosphere Reserve. Puerto Montt, a bustling port located on the lower southwest coast of South America, more than 1,000 kilometers south of Santiago, the capital of Chile, a city whose heart, soul, and history are intimately tied to the sea. A major urban center set in a privileged environment with lush native temperate rainforests, soaring volcanoes, roaring rivers, and endemic wildlife. This is the departure point for our adventure cruise. But before we set sail, we can tour some of the local artisan craft markets and learn more about the fascinating history of this distant city, shaped by nature's abundance. The azure blue sea and brisk wind beckon to us. The adventure of a lifetime is about to begin. Tenglo Channel's tranquil waters and Scorpios 2's entire crew welcome you aboard. Bienvenidos a bordo. Every corner of the ship reflects a commitment to comfort and is imbued with Scorpio's spirit of camaraderie. Our voyage begins. As we glide into our new world, we experience a growing sense of excitement. Behind us, the port disappears from view. Soon, we become mesmerized with our sublime surroundings. And each day will be a new opportunity to marvel at more of the region's awe-inspiring grandeur on our way to the trip's stunning climax. The MV Scorpios II, specially designed and equipped for navigating southern Chile's inside passage can accommodate up to 130 passengers in 55 cabins, all with private bathrooms and paneled in fine native Chilean woods. Our ships, comfortable and spacious cabins, and spectacular lounges, decks, and dining room provide peaceful and relaxing vantage points to witness the power and majesty of the passing scenic beauty. On the Chono route, we will sail through two of Chile's far south regions, Región de los Lagos and Región de Aysén, a total of 800 nautical miles in five nights. The evening invites us to enjoy the company of others and fine dining. Savor outstanding international cuisine and Chile's exceptional wines. Scorpio's hallmark is warm hospitality, the same that has made the people of Southern Chile famous worldwide. Sunday, as we wend our way through labyrinthine island channels, we prepare for our first encounter with magic, Puerto Aguirre. Here, 
In this picturesque fishing village, life moves with the rhythm set by the wind, tides, and local legends. Some enterprising children are quick to offer a tour of the village. A walk up the main road eventually takes us to a magnificent lookout point with a panoramic view of the archipelago. We sail deeper and deeper into this world of enchantment. Dawn breaks in silence. We enter the narrow Rio Tempanos, or Iceberg River, our entryway to San Rafael Lagoon National Park. We navigate slowly up the ice-laden river and finally anchor in front of enthralling San Rafael Glacier. This is one of the northern Patagonia ice fields' major tidewater glaciers and the nearest to the equator, making it a highly important freshwater reserve for humanity. Water the most abundant substance in the human body is synonymous with life, which might explain in part the powerful connection we feel with this remote realm. We board one of several Hercules icebreaker motorboats for an excursion amongst the ice flows and a closer look at the glacier's formidable face. The parading icebergs present a dazzling spectacle. Blues, greens, crystalline. An endless array of whimsical shapes. This park is unmatched in pristine splendor. One of our most anticipated cruise traditions is our famous 12 and 30 toast, a glass of 12-year-old whiskey with 30,000-year-old glacial ice. A memorable day of magic comes to an end. While we feel a sense of sadness at leaving this earthly paradise behind, another one awaits us, the Quitralco Hot Springs. The following dawn, we awaken in Quitralco Fjord. Quitralco, in Mapundungun, the language of the Mapuche, the native inhabitants, means fire water. We go ashore to view the land's exuberant flora and fauna, most of which is endemic. Through his resounding, ever-present calls, we eventually catch a glimpse of a male chukau. We also contemplate groups of sea lions, an abundant variety of flowers and mushrooms, and nalka, or ganeta tintoria, whose enormous leaves are used to prepare curanto en oil, one of southern Chile's popular hearty stews. The dense temperate rainforest is a timeless temple of peace and tranquility. After our morning walk, we enjoy a delicious traditional barbecue. We take a moment to choose our afternoon activities, ranging from a fascinating tour of the upper reaches of the fjord to relaxing in Patagonia's southernmost hot springs. The thermal baths received their water from nearby Mount Hudson, a massive snow-capped volcano. We leave Quitralco, heading through Moraleda Channel and the Gulf of Corcovado toward Chiloé Island. Along the way, if we keep a sharp lookout, we may catch sight of a pod of alfaguaras or blue whales.
In the late afternoon, we sail northwest through coastal channels to reach Castro, Chiloé's capital. Founded in 1567, this city is the second oldest in the country. Castro is steeped in the history, folklore, and legends of adventurers who came in search of opportunity and of the tenacious indigenous groups, a rich and varied legacy that is Chiloé's singular heart and soul. Reflected by the islands, unique and intriguing architectural style and cultural expressions. Castro features beautiful wooden churches, an assortment of artisan crafts, including colorful woolen clothing, and of course, the characteristic shingled houses on stilts or wooden columns along the shore. We continue our voyage sailing past Lemue Island and into the Gulf of Ancul. We get ready to enjoy our last night on board, culminating with the captain's farewell gala dinner. Tonight we celebrate a truly unforgettable adventure cruise. The evening's delicious international dishes masterfully prepared with the region's renowned delicacies are further enhanced with a glass of fine Chilean wine. We all now one big family, share the merry camaraderie of festivities that are finally crowned with the captain's toast. A moment causing us to reflect on what life must have been like for the region's first inhabitants, their daily hardships, the cold, but also their free spirit and their respectful symbiotic relationship with nature on the fate of the Chono, nomadic, seafaring canoeists who navigated these waters in pursuit of fish, shellfish, and marine animals for subsistence. But we know the spirit of the Chono lives on in all of the people of this land. We fondly recall the many magical moments of our voyage, moments enjoyed with our newfound friends. This experience has changed our lives, and we long to share it. Our cruise has been packed with adventure and emotion. Now, we too feel a part of Patagonia and the need to preserve it, to ensure that it remains pristine for future generations. Scorpios profoundly believes you only love what you know and care for what you love. We have been to Patagonia and will forever carry it in our hearts. Come sail with us on the Chono route through Southern Chile's spectacular inside passage and live an extraordinary adventure. Scorpios Cruises, the glaciers of Patagonia. <laughs>